What's going on YouTube? Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with a new video. Today, as you guys can clearly see from the title down below, I am going to be doing an update on my Vi Shorts deck collection. Yeah, pretty freaking hyped. Uh, the last time I did this was I think last year, sometime in like January I think it was. So it's been a hot minute guys. So I want to now kind of give you an update on what decks I've completed, what decks am I working on, etc, etc, etc. So we're going to get right to it. And first, we're going to start things off with showcasing my best girl, favorite, favorite waifu, hands down, of all time, and is none other than Rem. Uh, this is the same deck that you guys saw earlier uh, when I first... Uh, showcased my collection but yeah uh, i've been tweaking it here and there every time a new set comes out but on ray zero we haven't gotten anything new as of late so i haven't really put much thought into it <coughs> now uh, i know there is another ray zero set coming out sometime in the near future so once i get that if it's not like memory snow then i'll obviously update and i'll show uh, showcase it when it does but for now, that's it. Now, when I first showcased all of my decks, um, in that video, I only had one ReZero deck profile, or deck, not deck profile, but a deck. But now, I have many more. So to follow up the Rem deck, I have this Waifu Beatrix deck. And I gotta say, this deck is just, it's pretty strong for what it is. Because it's literally just all Beatrix cards. But it has a lot of synergy. So pretty pretty exciting stuff. And I'm glad that I have it in my collection. Okay, moving on. Sticking with the ReZero, um, I guess, deck showcasing. We have a deck that is for Krush and Ferris. And it has a splash of Reinhardt and... Yeah, this deck is pretty beast, especially if you got get this guy out. He's a freaking, oh my god, that thing is a monster. But yep, gotta love it. It's another ReZero re deck, and as you know, I am a huge fan of the franchise. Alright, last deck when it comes to the ReZero franchise, it is none other than the Sloth Sin himself. And yes, this is literally a deck for this archetype and you might be wondering daybreak why do you have more than four of these like cards right here or for example these hand cards it's because these there are certain cards in vice shorts where uh in on the text it clearly states you're allowed to have more than four copies of that card and it's because it has something to do with for example the theme so him he has the fingers if you watch the anime you know what i'm talking about or the invisible hands and uh, yeah this literally plays off of that so that's why we have pretty much a whole deck with the hands and the fingers but something to note this deck is kind of it's just pretty much a meme deck it's not really that competitive but i still love it because it is a hell of a lot of fun okay now moving on let's take a look at some kono super action and Starting things off, we're going to be showcasing this one right here. Mega competitive, mega super uh, net decked. <laughs> this one is, sorry for the glare guys. This one is, I think it won a championship somewhere. Um, but yeah, super, super OP uh, and Megumin best girl all the way. So there you go. Okay, continuing on with the ReZero, we have... This one right here, it's in uh, Aqua and, what's your name, Eris deck. It's pretty much a goddess deck. Fun, not as OP as this one, but still pretty cool and a lot of fun to play. Now, something to note, uh, I get this all the time. Daybreak, would you be willing to sell your cards? The answer is anything that I'm showcasing right now is not for sale. These decks will be with me until... Um, yeah, pretty much forever. So this one, 
but bam yeah this is from the movie and it is so freaking funny this deck is of sylvia or sylvia yeah sylvia and and kazuma because there is an epic epic scene in the movie and it's essentially this scene right here but yeah if you haven't watched it not going to spoil anything but it was freaking hilarious so if you haven't watched the movie i highly recommend that you do and try picking up that deck okay so that's pretty much it for my konosuba i guess showcasing now let's move on to some steins gate so when we talk about steins gate we have to talk about makase karisu and yeah i am freaking so um, I mean, she's one of my favorite or top tier waifus, so you knew I had to make a deck around this one. And she is just, it's, she's awesome. She is a pretty awesome, solid deck. Nothing too fancy, nothing crazy, but it gets the job done. Now, on the other hand, this deck, eh, it's alright. <laughs> uh, you saw this deck in my previous, I guess, deck collection video. But it is of Ferris, and I'm honestly not the biggest Ferris fan. So I built this deck because I had the pieces, but honestly, it is what it is. All right, moving on to some SAO goodness. So let's start things off with some GGO action. We have the Len deck. Pretty freaking dope, gotta say so myself. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Has some cool little tricks up its sleeve, but love it, and yeah, it's just really cool. All right, moving on to the next, oh, the next deck when it comes to GGO action, it is the Sweets deck, all, aka the Shink deck. Yeah, so these are the side characters from GGO, and they're like the other team, and they have a pretty solid game mechanic. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. Now, is it hyper competitive? No, but most of the decks that you see here are decks that I make for waifu material or just because I think it's pretty awesome that they have the, uh, the, uh, the support that they do. And so I make a deck out of it. So there you go. Okay, sticking with the SAO theme, I have three more decks. So up next, let's showcase another waifu deck that I'm constantly modifying and is none other than Silica. So this deck literally is just solely based off of Silica, a waifu deck. And yeah, I think this is one of the ones that I was working on. Maybe I may be wrong, but uh, I think it was. But anyways, this is now complete and once again, pretty decent I gotta say so for myself the beatrix deck and this one even though they're waifu decks yeah they're pretty solid they're pretty pretty solid okay moving on to my single this is it this is the only english deck that i own and it is none other than last shot Shannon. this deck this card is a freaking beast and uh, I'm not sure how it does in today's meta, but back in the day, that thing was freaking fire. I own the SP version of that card in English, and I gotta say, it is, oh my god, it's so beautiful. Okay, moving on to the 10th anniversary deck. And yeah, this one is pretty freaking bomb. It has a lot of level 3s, but... Um, a lot of them you can bring out very quickly in level two. And yeah, it just pretty much beat down when it comes to the game mechanics. But love this artwork. I really have to get myself some SPs from this set uh, because some of these cards look absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's move on to this one now. Let's do some Goblin Slayer. So the first Goblin Slayer deck, this one is of all the other side characters. <laughs> so this is Goblin Slayer's, their, I guess his team. But yeah, he's not really in this one. But yeah, this features pretty much everyone else but Goblin Slayer himself. The next one, on the other hand, actually showcases Priestess 
and Goblin Slayer. So this deck, pretty freaking solid. I mean, uh, I love some of the combos that this deck has. It's pretty, pretty beast, for sure. So if you were to ask me, Daybreak, what are some of your more competitive builds? Well, this one, that one freaking won. I didn't win the championship, but uh, someone else did in some tournament. Uh, this one right here is definitely competitive. That one right there is very competitive. This one right here is very competitive. So that's that. Okay, moving things along, we have two decks when it comes to Sakano, How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend, and both of them feature around best girl Megumi. And uh, yeah, I freaking adore this character. You guys know if you watched my, uh, it's not really recent, but a, I guess, a haul video that I posted this year, you know that I got a SP version of Megumi and oh my god it is it's fire but anyways here's another deck with Megumi and yeah pretty solid stuff okay continuing on let's take a look now at let's go with Nisa Koi action so bring back some older waifus so Kusaki yeah she's was my favorite girl from Nisekoi. This deck is pretty much green, red, and blue, I think it was. Or was this the four color? No, 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 this is just three color. So yeah, tri-color deck, pretty insane, but beautiful waifu, gotta have it. Up next, this one is the four color deck, I think. It has yellow, so it has Chitoge, it has uh, Marie, or Marika? <laughs> I don't remember her name. Damn. Um, but yeah, it has yellow. Oh no, this might be... Uh, I don't remember. But yeah. Kosaki right here. This one I like. But something interesting about this Japanese card. The English version of this got a tweak. So if you were to look at the translation here and then look at the English version, they're not the same card, which is kind of weird. But... There's a little history lesson for you. Okay, so now let's go on to No Gate No Life. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling some No Gate No Life. So here we go. The first deck is featuring this lovely girl is Az Izuna. Don't really remember this character too much, but it, she was a side character. But the deck revolves around this chick right here. Okay, and continuing. This one I like a little bit more. It features Steph and Jibriel. So pretty bomb, pretty awesome. So love freaking No Game No Life. Look at that artwork. Such nice colors. I really wish and hope for a season two. Okay, next up. Now I think we're... No, actually, no, I lied. Let's take care of this one first. So, Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs. A etchy show. I didn't know much about this when it first came out. But a couple of you guys recommended for me to watch it. I watched it. Super, super etchy. Not really my thing. But it was entertaining, for sure. But yeah, we have Yuna right here. This is pretty much a deck revolving around her. Then... We have another deck when it comes to Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs. But this one is featuring Suguri and this chick right over here. This one, Oboro. And it's an all blue deck. And it's actually, in my honest opinion, this one plays a lot better than the Yuna deck. Why? I'm not really sure. But I find that this is a little bit more competitive than, like I said, the Yuna build. Okay, up next. Now these are all the ones of, one of, meaning um, the anime. I bought the booster boxes and I only made a single deck. So there you go. First up, we have Fate Apocrypha, the only deck I have, and it's featuring the trap himself, um, Black Rider. Okay, 
Up next, we have a Sneaker Bunko deck. This is just, I still don't, this is just literally a mishmash of different anime. Uh, I guess they were doing some sort of mm, uh, celebration. So, yeah, most of these uh, anime I'm not sure of. Like, I don't know where this chick comes from. Uh, don't know any of these guys. Uh, Stripe Witches. I think that's Stripe Witches. Uh, Megumi, obviously. Uh, don't know, don't know, don't know. Don't know, don't know. Uh, Konosuba, Konosuba. Don't know any of you. Oh, this one. Um, best girl. <laughs> um, for those of you guys who are watching an uh, who watch anime this season, um, this is from. I shaved my beard and something something something. Uh, very wholesome. I really like this anime a lot. Really wish we got a, a I guess a booster box from this particular anime. But no, we don't. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only card in this Sneaker Bunko set that features this character. So yeah, at least I have her in this form. Uh, hopefully, hopefully in the near future, they will make a booster box of this show. Because if they do, I would definitely like it. Because honestly, super wholesome. I thought it was going to be kind of weird. But no, it was actually, I liked it. Now, at the end uh, is... No, I'm not going to spoil it, but whatever. Um, you guys can let me know in the comment section what you think is happening or what will happen at the end. Now, if you watch the, uh, the uh, if you read the manga, then I'm sure you could tell me because you probably know what's happening or what did happen. But uh, at least in the anime side of things, it didn't get too weird. Okay, up next, we have Log Horizon. And I got to say, this deck... Uh, is actually pretty pretty sick like for example if you get Toya and you get her sister like th these are level one characters guys they get incredibly big very quickly and if you're not if you're not ready for it my gosh it's just terrifying <laughs> but there you go all right Next up, let's talk about some slime. And unfortunately, this is one of those decks that I haven't had an opportunity to upgrade yet. I did not purchase Season 2 or Volume 2 uh, for that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I really want to, but financially speaking, I was in other things at that point in time. So I couldn't. But yeah, I definitely have to update this deck for sure. Okay. A couple of decks left, guys. So the next one I want to showcase is Maple from Bofruity. And again, one of mm, like the sleeper anime. I really dug this anime when it was around. Um, it was one of those anime that you literally just turn your brain off and you just watch cute girls doing cute things. But yeah, super OP. And it was just a lot of fun. So I had to make a deck around her. Let's go on to one of my favorite, favorite anime of all time. And I'm super hyped that season, whatever the next season is coming up. Uh, but yeah, Overlord. Now, again, this deck. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope they give us another volume when it comes to Overlord because it's freaking bomb. Now, something to note. I am looking for this SP, but, ugh, ugh, financially, like, that card, the SP of this card right here, guys, is going for minimum $2,000. Two, two freaking thousand dollars. Not graded, nothing like that. It's just a near mint version, because Vi Shorts cards are terrible when it comes to quality. But yeah, $2,000. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> but anyways, there you go. Up next, we have the quintessential quintuplets, a deck featuring my lovely waifu. No, it is not her. It is not her. It is actually Miku. I, I don't know. Something about her personality, like she's super quiet um, and like very cutesy. I really dug this character. 
Uh, but honestly, they're all pretty good. So, love it. Uh, will I be getting a volume two? Probably, probably. Okay. Up next, we have Bunny Girl Senpai. My, and yeah, this deck, super hyper competitive. Um, yeah, my friend gave me the deck list. I think it was, it won once again some tournament. But yeah, super, super hyper uh, competitive, and I love it. It looks pretty good. Super sexy, by the way. All right, so, so far, this is looking pretty darn good. But we have one last one that I want to showcase, and that's it. It is none other than the newest deck in my collection. It is from Rent a Girlfriend, and this deck is based off of two characters. Um, Chizuru and Ruka, I think it was her. Yeah, Ruka right there. Um, she's in here too, but it's mainly these two. And I gotta say, uh, I best girl for sure. Uh, I just love her design. I don't know, something about that short hair. It just... Yeah, look at it. I like that design. But anyways, there you go. That is it, guys. So let's see. How many decks do I have so far that are completed and ready to be played with? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So 32 all together. And this one makes it 30 freaking three. That is freaking wild, guys. Guys, with that said, you might be thinking, Daybreak, what happened to like the Attack on Titan deck that you were working on? And the other ones that you showcased, they're still in the process of being made, but it just, I had other important pieces that I was trying to get to. But those will get done probably by the next time you see another updated Vi Shorts deck collection video. So with that said, Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to stop by to watch this video. And if you like what you saw, leave a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. And yeah, with that said, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And until next time, guys, this is Daybreak748. I'm signing out. Peace.